Last time, we asked for 2,000 likes, and you guys delivered. So here's part two of analyzing your game. For this video, we have selected three clips that have been sent in to us. We are going to be a little bit more in depth about how we approach this. The first clip we got sent in was a batting clip from Bavin. The first thing we noticed is that Bavin's head has fallen slightly across to the offside. Ideally, what we'd like to see is the head being more in line and over that front foot where we have control of seeing the ball into our contact point and where the bat's gonna have its most potential to get through the ball. The second thing we could see is that on the odd occasion, Bavin's back leg drops and this causes him to lean back in the shot, which can cause us to lose a lot of power. What we'd ideally like to see is a nice braced back leg, firm and up all the way into the head position here, making sure that the body's in a strong position and all our momentum is going into the contact point. The third thing we noticed is that the bat sometimes pulls out of the line a little bit too quickly, causing us to lose power on the contact point. What we'd like to see is that the bat from swing to contact to completion stays in one line. The draw we have selected to try and assist Bavin with these small technical flaws is the weight transfer draw. To do this, the bat is going to get into a position in a semi-stride position with the front toe up and the weight resting on the back foot. From here, we're initially going to start with a pop, the toe is going to go down, the knee is going to bend and let the head go forward over the foot and we're going to strike over that point of contact. We are going to do this for a while until we are comfortable with it. Then we are going to progress and make it slightly more difficult with underarms. This is to give you the feel of the ball coming towards you and timing that weight transfer to perfection and striking through the ball with the best possible contact. If you'd like us to start filming the next part of this, please hit that like button and get us to two and a half thousand likes. The second clip that has been sent in is a bowling clip and has been sent to us by Arun. The first thing we notice is that his front foot has kicked across. He does have a closed off bowling action, so another important thing to note is that his front arm is on the open side of his head. What we do want to focus on is making sure that the front foot is more in line, at worst, back toe to front heel, and that the front arm is on the close side of his head, so he can look through the gap there. This is going to help align his hips and his shoulders, reducing the risk of injury and adding that consistency to his gap. The draws we have chosen to assist Arun with this is initially setting out two channels of code. One for the back foot to make sure that we don't sneak too wide in the crease, and one for the front foot to make sure that our line from back foot to front foot is in line. These cones are there as a visual aid and to be able to feel it to see if we go out of the line. This is gonna help the bottom half of our body drive through the crease in the right way to give us the best possible chance of getting the momentum going forward. The second part of this rule is we are now gonna take a cone and place it in the front arm. This is to give us a visual aid and something else that we can feel consistently throughout the action so that the arm can kick across into that side arm position and drive nice and forward in a straight line towards the target. This is now going to link up the bottom half and the top half, both aligning in the same way, thus preventing injury and adding consistency to his game. The third clip that has been sent in is from Upabrat and it is another batting clip. With Uperbrat, the first thing we noticed is we want to make some slight adjustments in his stance. He's got quite an open stance to start with. What you want to do is be a bit more conventional with the foot positioning to be more in line. But from there, we can open up the front foot forward to allow us access for the ball that does come a little bit straighter. And the other thing we'd like is in the knees, we'd like a little bit of a bend to get us in a more ready position or action position from which to play the ball. The second thing we noticed is that in the shot itself, Uperat is a little bit upright with the head behind and not getting fully forward to give us access to the ball, which forces our hands to be slightly forward and pushing the shot, which is the third thing that we noticed. What we'd like to see is that the head goes forward and over the front foot, creating a strong position, and this will allow the hands to play under the eyes, which will stop that pushing motion and give us a cleaner strike. The draw we have selected to assist with this is to make sure that the front leg gets into line by padding the ball away. This is forcing us to actually go further than we'd normally go to play a shot, but at the same time, it makes sure that everything is aligned to where the ball is going. All you do is as the thrower throws underarm, you get across and you pad it away with your leg, making sure that you've got that transfer into the ball as well. We did underarms and then progress to overarms so you can get used to the different angles that the ball may come from. Important to note is that you don't want to do too many of these. You would look to do about 24 before you're going back to your bat. Another thing you can use for this, if it is not one of your issues, is you could potentially use it as a warm-up floor to make sure that the feet are moving to the right line. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember to leave a like to help us get to that 2,500 like hole 
so that we can assist more of you with some of these videos in the future. If you did enjoy this video, you can check out the previous one over here.